to use the new microtuner device that Ableton has released. It's a Max for Life device, so you can either download it from here or you can go to your available packs within Ableton. But the really cool thing about it is that you can also go to this website. And this is a really giant archive of scales. You can download it here. You can see here that it says there's over 5,100 scales in there. So, you know, download with your own desertion. When you come into Ableton, you can go ahead and find that under your packs. So you can see here, microtuner. And I've done some sequencing here, but why don't we just load it by itself? So here we are. So why don't we load a marimba in? So now I'm gonna go ahead, turn off this MPE so it actually um, goes through the notes over here. And by default, you have a collection of scales, a seven note scale, five note scale. I'm gonna go up an octave. And a super fun um, thing about it is that you can generate your own scales as well. But before we do that, why don't we try loading for some of that uh, new scale archive that we downloaded. Um, so if you want to load this into your um, Ableton every time, it's going to take a long time. So I suggest like just picking out a few scales out of there and putting them into a separate folder. So I've put in that I've put a few of the scales over here. You can see. Um, under another folder and what you can do is that we can load Ableton let me resize this over here and we can just drag either a single one of these scale files or just this entire folder and drop it over here and now you can see that we have loaded um, two folders here the default collection and the folder that I just dropped in there. And if I click on the drop down menu, I see all the available um, files over there as well. It's a chromatic mode because that's um, where you can actually go through all the notes. And we can generate our own scales. So that the way that it works is that if you check this box, now um, it will not look for the folder or file that you chose, and now it will look for what type of scale you want to generate. So for pitches, you're telling it how many notes you want your scale to have. Let's say I want a six note scale. And then this one is during what, what span of an octave. So if we just want to stay in one octave, leave it there and um, when we hit ge generate, it will um, create this notes for your scale. And you can see that they're all equal distance from one another. If I add a little bit of randomness over here and then hit generate, then you can see that it starts creating asymmetrical um, scales for you. And I love that it actually shows you the frequency value there. Let's, uh, I'll zero out the random. Why don't we create a scale that has 26 notes? There you go. Um, let's go back to a scale that only has uh, four notes. And if we do it, it will be equal distance, but we can add a little bit of randomness. Every time you hit generate, get something different. And then we can also change the octave, right? I'm going to change the um, randomness and say half an octave. So now we get four notes within half an octave. So let's generate something that we actually like, like five note scales. And let's introduce a bit of randomness. Um, I want it to be over two. So this is a cool scale, right? Um, and I want to show you how you can um, utilize the blend option here. So if we turn on blend over here, now we have this blend output slider and that will let you um, switch between the section A and section B. 
So right now on section A, we are on the scale that we just generated over here, but over B, we're um, back at this um, 12 tone collection of notes. So I'm gonna try to recreate my generated scale over here at five pitches over two octaves. Um, and let's see if we can get something similar. I'm gonna enable this. Let's see what do we think about turning off the blend so I can only just hear this. I think this is fun. I'm gonna turn blend back on. And on this first one, I'm gonna switch back to my Persian scales or turn off my generator. And now we're back on our Persian scale. So this slider lets you go in between two scales and kind of just blend them and merge them together. And I think that would be really fun once you have a sequence going and you can just MIDI map the slider um, to your controller and just smoothly uh, go from one scale to the other one. I'm gonna try making something really quickly. I don't promise it'll be good. through a couple of other cool things that you can do. You can change your ba bass frequency or just transpose the whole thing. So I also wanted to show you um, what I've done in the other ones. And I didn't do this on the push or on the keyboard, I just started sequencing notes because I think Honestly, that's the most, um, that's the one that makes the most sense to me um, with this device. With the push controller, I think the scales that are, you know, already preloaded there make the most sense. I couldn't really get a good feel of using the chromatic mode and kind of just like watching um, where each of the notes are like a duplicate of that in, in, um, in the new scale that I've chosen or not. And it didn't really sit well with me. I kind of... I like the method of just using uh, the draw tool with the microtuner device. So far, this is what I've done with the microtuner, but I'm super excited that they've added this and it's a free Max for Life device, and I think it's a big game changer because, uh, first of all, you can create your own scales and, of course, save it as a preset so you don't lose it. I think the generate uh, function is super fun, and the blend is also super fun, too. Um, so, yeah, I love that.